Hello Capricorn. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitia here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading. And I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they're feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And please keep in mind that this particular reading and the way I read, um, in the most part of this reading in the beginning, I am only channeling through my higher self, my higher intuitive self. So I'm not actually channeling through any entities, any spirit guides, positive or negative. Um, only in the end of this reading, I do call upon Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. All right, so as I'm going through these cards, these are huge. This is a lot of d sad, dark energy. Um, but this is not exactly, I mean, this is this person, your person of interest. But because of the intensity of these cards, you as well could be going through this. So both of you actually may be mirroring each other. Wow. And there's love. There's lots of love here. And that's why it hurts so much. Because there's lots of love. And it's actually from both sides. Hmm. Love and pleasure. Creativity. <sighs> Under the bottom of the deck we have responsibility. All right. So we have here, starting with the first card, Wisdom. Then we have Crisis, Illness, Wellness, Doubt, Power, Love, Pleasure, Creativity, and then we have Responsibility. Under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Capricorn, What we have gone through has made me wiser. You may not see this, you may not feel this or experience this now with me, but I am not the same person that I used to be. I'm quite different now. I have matured. I see things differently. I've learned my lesson and I've learned from mistakes. You would only know this if we were together. And I am right now very, very overwhelmed. There is a lot of mental anguish, confusion in my mind. I don't know how to sort a range of emotions that I'm feeling. I need time to sort these out because right now they are all over the place. Part of the reason is because of you. This is why I don't communicate with you the way I used to, because right now I am simply overwhelmed by the information that I have, overwhelmed by what I have done and the way I feel about it. And that does depress me. It makes me feel ill. It doesn't make me feel right. There's certain things that have happened in this connection that weigh me down below the surface of this water. You are that shining star, that shining sun. And I know that I can reach above the surface of this water and just be there with you, but there are many things that weigh me down. Burdens, restrictions, barriers, constraints, responsibilities, the past, emotional trauma that is also weighing me down, things that have happened in my life, in my heart, that hold me back, certain things I never really shared with you. 
being overwhelmed and being burdened by so many things. With all of that, I do doubt that anything good could happen in this connection. I doubt that I'll be able to get out of this mindset. With you, I have felt that you do have a lot of power over me. You don't even know the amount of power you have over me. You make me feel emotionally vulnerable and literally weak in the knees. My heart races and I feel powerless in front of you. You have this way of tempting me even though you don't even have to try. It just kind of happens. And this is because I do love you. I've loved you for a while. <clears throat> the love that I have for you is kind of different. It's a by default kind of love. It's always been there. It's a constant. It never changed before or after. You may think now I don't love you, but no, that's not the truth. I do love you. I'm just very overwhelmed. The love that I have for you is pure, it's sacred, it's true. And I do feel, and I remember, how much pleasure I have felt in this connection, physically, emotionally, even spiritually. Every part of me feels happy You fulfill the needs of my soul. You were that special one. And I do want to create something with you. It might seem impossible, might seem far-fetched, and I know, I doubt that that might even happen, but this is how I feel. I do want to create something with you something that'll be long-lasting for the world to see. And I want to take responsibility. <clears throat> responsibility for the things that I have said to you, that have hurt you, and the things that I never said that I should have. When I should have taken responsibility, I didn't. I was unreliable. I was impractical. I was not the person that you wanted me to be. I was not the person you needed me to be. But now you see, I have grown wiser and I want to take responsibility. I want to be that person who's got your back, that person that can support you. But am I too late? This is why I doubt that the connection might work out. Still, I have hope because I do want to create something with you. All right, Capricorn. Wow, that message came, it flowed very nicely. <clears throat> Keep in mind, guys, you know, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to be in so much detail for everybody, right? There's going to be differences. Um, this is the average collective feelings and emotions of what I am sensing, the amount of people that are watching. And it does appear that this person is going through a lot and this person is ignoring you or they are just so overwhelmed that they're not really opening up to you. And usually that does happen because they don't want to make a mistake. They don't want to repeat an error. Now, for some of you, you might feel that there is still love here. You may also um, still be in love with this person, which is probably the reason why you're here. 
Um, but there is, there is a slight feeling of depression here now. Many of you know that depression does come in different states, different levels of depression, right? Um, so this person is on whatever level they are on, but they are not feeling good. They're feeling very hopeless. I'm getting the word despair. They're feeling very much let down by their own fate and destiny. And they're also sensing and realizing the amount of mistakes that they've made, which is exactly why they want to take responsibility now for certain things that have happened in this connection that perhaps should not have happened. All right. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. And we will see what it is that may have caused this problem in the first place. Something that caused this as an obstacle problem that occurred in this connection, why things started to go downhill. So you have here the three of staffs. <clears throat> then you have tradition. Okay. Three of staffs. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. So this talks about that in this connection, in the beginning, things may have seemed to be really good. There was a lot of, however, there was some waiting involved. There was planning involved as well. Here, there was a feeling of wanting to, at one point, wanting to transform goals into realistic actions in this connection. This would have been a focused activity. However, things changed. At that point in time, when things started to become sour in this connection, ambitious plans seemed to have not been built or grounded in reality. They were basically impractical. They were not grounded in reality. They were not real. It was like fufuness. Sometimes I call it fufuness. Fufu. Being from fufu land. Thinking that things are going to be okay, but not doing anything about it. Not really being practical about things. Unfortunately, <clears throat> this individual that you were dealing with, they may have had a lot of ambitious plans. They may have thought and had a lot of dreams and goals with you. But one of the main problems was, was that they didn't really plan it out. And therefore, it didn't seem to be realistic. And when things became more real and things became um, more progressive, so there was this desire to, okay, let's not think about it. Let's do it now. At that point, it just didn't work out. That's the point where it was realized that, oh my goodness, all of this was really bad planning. And it was not practical it was not realistic. Somebody here was living in Fufu land. Now, let's have a look at tradition. All right. This is tradition. Let's have a look. It's not an alphabetical order. So. Oh my goodness. Give me a second or two here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, in addition to this person not being really practical and really realistic, um, there was another problem that occurred here, and this is regarding the structure of society, the rituals that they would have conforming to society and societal norms. What happened here, that this person felt that there was a need to throw out old social structures that constrain. So what I'm seeing in my mind's eye right now is actually the illness and wellness card. 
Now I am seeing them. If I can get the chance, let me let me pull it out for you guys. We're not rushing anywhere, are we? You guys are still here. I'm still here. Nobody's running anywhere. Let's take this out. Right there. All right. Actually, let's put it right here because it's right in regards to this. <clears throat> the way I interpret this card, and my interpretations are completely different from what the original interpretations are. If you see this person, this lady, she's trying to go above the surface of this water, right? That's the sun. But there are things here. I mean, this might be just seaweed, but in a metaphorically speaking, there are certain things that are holding her down. They're weighing her down. Now, similarly here with tradition, does tradition not weigh us down? It does, because we are born and brought up in different societies, different religions. We may fall in love with somebody who is different from what our social structure kind of demands. So somebody who is rich may be expected to marry a rich person. Somebody who is, you know, a Christian um, might have to adjust and think you know, am I allowed to marry somebody from another religion? For example, I know, being Indian, Hindu and Muslim. I know quite a few Hindu and Muslims that have gotten married, um, even within the country of India. They're pretty fine, they're happy. However, there is a lot where there are problems on a level of their background. There is um, problems with someone's lifestyle. Somebody may have a different type of lifestyle. Um, somebody may, for example, you know, be very, um, very spendthrift <clears throat> and the partner is the opposite. But this card tradition talks more about external people that are actually having an influence on this connection through this person. That's the whole issue. So this person has an issue with their beliefs, not because of you really, but because of the type of place that they come from. Remember, they're born and brought up in a different way. This is how they grew up. This is how they are in their adult life. They have a different set of beliefs, a different set of standards, a different set of principles. Not 100% will they be the same as you. They may want to be like you. However, when they go home or when they go out and meet their friends or their family, their family might be having their own type of rituals, their own type of customs, their own type of thought and belief. And that is something that's causing a problem in this connection. Some of you might not know this, but on average, what I'm seeing here with this, that there was some type of issue that occurred with someone's belief system. So let's just move on with this card. The need to throw out old structures that constrain. So that is what this person wants. The need to throw them out. Why? Because they're constraining them. Just like this card showed earlier. It's restricting them from moving forward, right? And then we have here also fear of unconventional ideas and the ways of approach. Nonconformity. So here we have fear of unconventional ideas and ways of approach. So, for example, this might even be if you're in a relationship and if somebody wants an open relationship, for example. That is also another issue. It's not 100% in society, a very traditional type of thing, right? But for one of you, it could be very normal to have an open relationship. For the other person, it's not. One of you might be in a casual friends with benefits type of connection. However, the other literally wants to be traditional. They want to, you know, get married or they want to be uh, committed just to one person, exclusive. So there is definitely a difference here with beliefs and ideas and thoughts and mindsets. There's a clashing of two personalities here. But part of it is because of the background of the other person. So that's what's happening. That's what I see here. And that's why they were not that practical. That's why they were not that realistic. Because your reality was different from their reality. Okay. That was very deep, even for me. 
All right, let's have a look <clears throat> at another set. And this will be any actions, any intentions that this person might have towards you. No. Yeah. Well, actions, intentions, or plans that this person may have. Oh my. Okay. So we have here... We have here the Knight of Pentacles. And many of you know I only pick the top card. If there's too many cards that fell out, I just pick the top card. Um, I do that because it carries the most amount of energy. And also, as I mentioned, there are no other spirit guides. This is me and my intuitive self doing this right now. So nobody else threw out those ten cards that just fell out. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. death. Enough is enough. This person wants a new beginning. <clears throat> it's very interesting. These cards are very different. All right. Then we have the Queen of Cups. Now you do have an extra card here. I'm going to pull this out. Ooh. Ten of Wands being overwhelmed. Very similar to the Crisis card. Okay. You have two queens here. Interesting. A lot of feminine energy. Um, a lot of nurturing energy. Um, the males, males can also be very nurturing, caring. Um, they have feminine energy as well. Now we have here the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Death, Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, and then we have the Queen of Wands. So with the Knight of Pentacles, it's been a long time there has been a lot of distance and now this person is finally wanting to come back into your life. They may come into your life slow and steady, but slow and steady does win the race. It does. Why is it okay? Because this person has finally thought long and hard about this connection. They actually had time to think. They're not just rushing into your life. Now here, their intention is also with the Ten of Pentacles. Some people associate this with uh, that, oh, you know, somebody, somebody's a catch or somebody's using them for money. <clears throat> for some of you, that might be true, but the majority of you, I see here that this person simply thinks that you both make a great power couple. You both make a great team. That's what this person feels. And it does appear to be that way. Here we have a situation where there is this desire to have materialistic goods happiness and live a life of luxury with one another this is a dream this is a fantasy this is a hope and a wish because what does this person actually want to do the next card is death <laughs> what they actually want to do is put to sleep and put to rest all that has happened before and then start with a brand new day mm. sting the singer Sting, one of my favorites. Oh, I love him. Brand New Day. That's a beautiful song, and it is very, very positive, and it's very encouraging. I love it. Um, thinking about a brand new day. Some of you may have heard it. Others of you, if you haven't, I encourage you to hear it. It's a very positive song, and this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm hearing right now. This person really is wanting to rise up from the ashes and just shake it all off and they're going to be like, that's it. It's a brand new day and I'm going to get my person. That person's you. Why do they want this? Here we have Queen of Cups. They want you because they find you to be utterly irresistible. You are very nurturing, caring, protecting, and you are very, very ooh, loving there's this unconditional love that just kind of oozes from you and this person feels it. They, they really feel this unconditional love that comes from you. Now, one of the problems here is that even though they have these feelings, they are still very much burdened. <clears throat> now, many of you know earlier, um, my new sus subscribers and viewers may not know this, right? But earlier I have said that sometimes when we're overwhelmed, 
with so many things that are going on in our lives. We don't engage with a person. We don't communicate with a person or promise a person something because we already have too many things in our life. So why would you give 30% of yourself to somebody when you know that they deserve 100%. So some people, Capricorn, actually keep their distance because they know they can't be with you 100%. Now, with this card, that does show that. Of course, you had the card Crisis earlier. You can go back on this video and have a look at the first set of cards. Um, crisis, that talks about the feeling of overwhelmment. I've, I've related that to that feeling. Um, <clears throat> so this person does feel very overwhelmed. They have other problems in their life. This could be like, hopefully not, but, you know, health problems with themselves or maybe with other people that they care about, taking care of somebody who's sick, financial problems, maybe something to do with their divorce or kids or alimony or stuff like that. Um, rent. Oh my gosh, I'm getting the word mortgage. Okay, a lot of expenses. So there's a lot of other things running a business. I'm getting that as well. Wow, these things are just coming right at me, these names. Um, okay, so th you guys get the idea. There's a lot of burdens that this person cannot run away from. It's just, it's literally just the way it is. Now, we have a situation here where this person has all of this burden, but in the back of their mind, they want to have you as well. For this reason, what's essentially going to happen in the end is this person is going to be able to let go of one or two of those burdens, those, those feelings that are overwhelming them, and then they'll be able to fit you in. And I'm literally saying this. It might sound rude, but it's not rude. They will literally fit you in their schedule because they have a life. They have a life. They have a schedule. Everybody's busy these days. So here we also have the overall arching theme. You are hot as hell. Good God. This person feels you are absolutely irresistible, absolutely sexy. So sexy. Like drooling. <laughs> this person finds you very hot, um, very good looking, very charming. You can be a seductress or a, um, I don't know what the word would be for a man, but a man can seduce and be very good at it. Um, there's a lot of feelings of seduction with this card. Also, this person may feel that dealing with you, there's a sense of this. They know that somehow you have more intuition. You may actually be more spiritually inclined and spiritually awakened than they are. Um, that is how I also see this card. So there's a lot going on here, actually. There's a lot of changes. There's a lot of plans. However, they know when the time will be right for them to make the move. Do I see them taking any action in the future? I do. I do see it with the Knight of Pentacles. But there's a lot going on in between that time. For now, they are trying to settle whatever issues they have with whatever people or situations or scenarios that they're stuck in. Um, once they have that settled, that's when they will be able to focus on you. And that's when they'll be able to get rid of all of this with the Death card. Just, you know, It's a brand new day. <laughs> Just like Sting sings. All right. Just going to do a quick prayer. <clears throat> All right. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. So they are aware of your situation. Ooh, you got a choice here, people. So there's two storylines. Some of you may end up with this person, and some of you don't want to be with this person anymore. So they are telling you that it is up to you. And here you also have a timeline within the next few weeks. We also have here take action. Uh -huh, we have yes. It's a very positive card.
We have your peaceful resolution. We have the card no. Romance. Ah, I asked to clarify. So it literally would go, no, there's something better. That's what it says here. So I wanted to clarify the no card because it's just kind of random. Um, it makes a sentence though, no, comma, there's something better. Doesn't that make sense? All right. Can you all see that? I don't think you can. So let me do this, okay? Okay, let's just do this. There, hopefully you guys can see that now. All right. Under the bottom of the deck. Wow, this is like a packed message. Goodness me, forgiveness. Oh my God. Oh, this is a very long message. <laughs> All right. For those of you that want to stay in this connection, first of all, the first card is saying that you do have a choice. Remember, as I've mentioned before in many other readings, and I will make a video of this on my other channel, a Snoichi Audio, one day soon, hopefully, um, about choices. Do we have choices? Is everything set in stone? No, it's not. Our timelines are an ever-changing timeline. The one line that we're on right now, that is solid because we're on it right now, but right after this moment, everything is branched out and you are able to hop on from one branch to the other. Those destinies and those fates are all written out for you by celestial beings. It's kind of like programming in a weird way. So there are stories out there and if you decide to leave this person, you can be with another one. <laughs> Sorry, with another person. Um, so I'm just going to go with, uh, that group that right now wants to be with this person. And that's perfectly fine as well. There is a chance here. There is a chance. So here we do have within the next few weeks. Now, for me, what I've seen is next few weeks can also be the next few months. Just keep that in mind. They're saying here to take action. So you are the one who's going to be taking action. And yes, you should take action. Yes, there will be a peaceful resolution so some of you may have had a really bitter time with this person, a really sour kind of relationship, but don't worry, it's going to get better. There's going to be a peaceful resolution. And you do have the card, Romance. For me, this is a spiritually bound card. You have been with or you have met your soulmate, your twin flame, your karmic partner. Maybe even more, but those are the three most strongest relationships I've seen. Now, it's interesting you have this because some of you might think that there's somebody better or you may think that the situation is just the way it's going to be. Nothing's going to get better from there. But no, they are saying that the situation will improve. The situation will improve. You may think that this is as good as it is going to get. That's not true. It's going to get better. Now, you also have here forgiveness. I'm, I'm just, let's just pause for a second because I'm seeing... Um, <clears throat> I see some of you are in relationships that are long term with assets like like a house, like you guys actually have a home together, you have things together, you've been together. Um, for that reason, there's a lot of settling, you're settling for second best, not for the person, but the type of situation that you're in, you're just kind of settling and letting it go. Um, what I'm seeing here is that there's going to be some type of talk. And there will be a peaceful resolution. But remember, you have to be the one that's going to take that action. Remember to be very gentle, very open-minded, very kind, and listen. Listen to what the other person has to say as well. Um, we have here forgiveness under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. So, somebody here may apologize. Somebody may say sorry. Somebody might need to forgive so keep that in mind that that is also in this kind of situation that you're going to be in. And it's a very strong relationship for some of you because it's a spiritual connection. Now, for those of you that just can't tolerate this person anymore 
and you don't want to be with them, don't worry. <laughs> you can do that. You can move on. Here we have, <clears throat> like the angels are saying, that it is up to you. Yes, you do have a choice. Within the next few weeks or months, they are suggesting that you do take action. Action towards a peaceful resolution, meaning, do you want closure? Yes, you do. If they don't give it to you, you go and seek it out yourself. And if they still don't give it, then you move on. Peaceful resolution here does indicate that, yes, there is going to be a peaceful resolution. You both actually might just move on. And that's not bad. That's good. That means you don't have to dwell on the past. Peaceful resolution doesn't necessarily mean that you will be together. This is for those of you that don't want to be with this person. You could still be cordial. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, you can also simply just be friends, but have that peaceful resolution and not be lovers. Now, even though there's a spiritually based romantic relationship here, it is a different situation. Not everything is the same. Not everybody who is in a spiritually based romantic relationship in the 3D does it happen. It doesn't happen all the time. It's not always supposed to happen. Sometimes <coughs> it's an experience. It's just an experience that we're supposed to go through because that's what we wanted to do before we took form into this body. Now, we have here, no, there's something better. That is a clear-cut answer. That you guys are going to find somebody who is better than this person that you have been with. 100%. I have seen that card come up in my own life so many times. And it's ridiculous the amount of times it actually brings something into your life that was completely unexpected. So expect the unexpected, Capricorn. <laughs> And of course, there will be a sense of forgiveness, and that is very important. There will be a sense of forgiveness in this connection. It is also important for you to try to forgive. And I've mentioned this before in some other readings, that um, the best way of forgiving somebody, and if you just can't, you don't have to forget, but you just let go by knowing and having that compassion for that person. Because forgiveness is important because we have a negative energy bubble around us and it orbits our head round and round it goes and this negative energy is a grudge it's a grudge because we haven't forgiven the person right and that's a problem because you have that one piece we have many many other negative things around us but that's one piece why don't you get rid of that piece how do you get rid of it you get rid of it by having compassion for the person or sometimes even feeling sorry for that person knowing that you know what they were born and brought up this way they just don't know any better. They just don't know any better. I am the wise one. I'm going to be looking above aerial view, from a bird's eye view, this entire situation, and I'm going to move on. Because this person, they just didn't know any better. They're inexperienced. They don't know many things about life. I know things about life. I know it sounds a bit as if you're boasting, but hey, if it works, it works. It worked for me. Compassion and forgiveness are very important for you to be healthy. And it does help. All right, Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Um, I did want to just quickly make an announcement that I am still open for taking on readings. Um, that is love readings right now. I have a written report package that I do. So it's a written report. All of it is interpreted by myself. Um, I just send it to you as a written report. So do go to my website, uh, www.asnointia.com. And there you'll be able to see um, a few packages that I still have open right now. One of them is this one. So um, go through the description first before you place the order. That way you'll know exactly what to expect. All right, Capricorn, you all take care, stay safe, and I will see you guys again. Bye now.